Have you ever wondered how crucial stakeholder heat maps are in ICT projects? Well, let's dive right into it. Stakeholder heat maps are visual tools that help you identify and categorize stakeholders based on their level of interest, impact, and influence in a project. Think of it as a compass, guiding you on who to engage, when, and how. In the vast realm of ICT projects, these heat maps become even more critical. They illuminate the landscape, highlighting key players whose inputs and decisions could make or break your project. These could be anyone from your end users, your technical team, to your investors. What's more, they're pivotal in strategic planning and decision making. By understanding where each stakeholder stands, you're better equipped to manage risks, allocate resources, and ultimately steer your project towards success. So, stakeholder heat maps play a pivotal role in the successful execution of an ICT project. Now let's delve into some real life examples to illustrate the use and benefits of stakeholder heat maps. Imagine you're part of a budding software development company. Your team is on the brink of launching a revolutionary app that could change the way businesses operate. But before you can roll it out, you need to understand the landscape of your stakeholders. You decide to use a stakeholder heat map. This tool helps you identify key players who could make or break your product launch. You discover that your investors are keenly interested and highly influential, so you prioritize their feedback. Conversely, you realize that while your end users have high interest, their influence is relatively low. This insight shapes your product launch strategy, ensuring that the right people are engaged and satisfied. The result? A successful product launch that meets stakeholder expectations and boosts your company's reputation. Now let's consider another scenario. You're at the helm of a telecommunications company preparing to introduce a groundbreaking service. However, you're facing a maze of regulatory challenges. Again, you turn to the stakeholder heat map. This time it reveals that the regulatory bodies hold high power and interest. On the other hand, your competitors, while interested, have limited power to affect your plans. So you focus your efforts on satisfying the regulators while keeping a close eye on the competition. The outcome? You navigate the regulatory hurdles smoothly, launch your service on time, and stay ahead of your competition. In both instances, the stakeholder heat maps provided invaluable insights. They illuminated the landscape of influence and interest, enabling these companies to strategize effectively. They helped the software development company orchestrate a successful product launch and guided the telecommunications company through a complex regulatory environment. These examples clearly show that stakeholder heat maps can be a game changer in ICT projects. They're not just pretty diagrams, but powerful tools that can illuminate the path to success. With them, you can understand your stakeholders better, strategize more effectively, and ultimately achieve your project goals. Let's quickly recap what we've learned about stakeholder heat maps in ICT projects. These maps are invaluable tools, providing a visual representation of the stakeholders' influence and interest in your project. They help you identify where to focus your communication and engagement efforts, ensuring that key players are not overlooked. We've seen through real-life case studies how using these heat maps can significantly improve the outcomes of ICT projects. Remember how Company A utilized a heat map to prioritize stakeholder engagement, which resulted in a smoother project execution? Or how Company B identified potential risks early on by understanding stakeholder interests and influences? These maps are more than just a tool for visualization. They are strategic assets that aid in decision-making, risk management, and resource allocation. They provide a clear picture of the stakeholder landscape, empowering you to make informed decisions. So, next time you embark on an ICT project, remember to use a stakeholder heat map to guide your strategic planning and decision-making.